holding history in their hands, a time capsule that sat beneath a towering statue of Confederate General Robert E. Lee in Richmond for more than 130 years, has finally been opened. Thanks for joining us here at 6. I'm Julie Bragg. And I'm Leland Pinder. What an afternoon here into the evening. Our Brendan King witnessed that historic moment. He's live now to tell us what was inside. Brendan. Yeah, it took just five hours for these crews to open this 134 year old time capsule here at the Department of Historic Resources. However, we learned today that this box historians and researchers were expecting to be pulled from the Lee statue last week. Well, this is not the case. But first, let me take you inside the moment as Governor Ralph Northam helped open the lid to this box here at the Department of Historic Resources. This is a one, an 1887 time capsule, the process starting around 1130 this morning. Originally, the newspapers of the 1880s said the time capsule would be made of copper in a much bigger box, yet an x-ray machine determined the box is made out of lead. So what's inside? A map of a proposed terminal facility in Manchester, three books, including an 1875 almanac, a novel called The Huguenot Lovers, A Tale of the Old Dominion, a price list for construction materials, an 1887 silver Great Britain shilling, and a cloth envelope with a photograph of James Netherwood, a master stonemason who was believed to have installed this box some 134 years ago. Most of the items, as you see in this video, are damaged by water. But listen to the lead conservator explain the types of tools they use to open a box more than 100 years old. So, it, so we either make our own tools or we buy tools for um, that paleontologists use, dentists use, anything we can find at a hardware store that seems like it'll work. We also have bamboo skewers, we have sharpened uh, popsicle sticks, we have micro spatulas. Basically we have on hand whatever we can find because we really don't know what we're going to need at the end of the day. All right, so what is next? I'm told that they'll now freeze the items to prevent mold and mildew. Then they'll get to work to analyze these materials. But historians tonight believe that that copper box, the original time capsule, could still be hiding underneath the Lee Monument. We'll have to keep you updated.